Okay, gonna be installing a hot water recirculation pump with comfort T or bypass valve, if you will. Um, and so this is gonna be, we just installed this brand new A.O. Smith uh, natural gas atmospheric vent storage water heater. And where we're gonna be installing this is right here on the hot water side. Uh, so it will be installed right here, has a timer on it. It's going to plug into that outlet right there. So I'll go over all that, how to set the clock and the timer and the different options on that, but that's where it's going to go. And it's going to be the direction of flow is going to be going towards the house. It's going to be pumping towards the bypass valve. And I haven't even been inside yet, so I'll walk inside with you and we'll, we will go ask the homeowner. You know what, T? You know what, you know what sink she wants this on? Um, so she was wondering, <coughs> she doesn't use the far left one, really? It's a double yeah. sink? She's wondering if we can put it over there. Yeah, okay. So master. Even she doesn't use it. Master of bath? Yeah. Okay. We'll go to master bath and we'll pick what sink. It doesn't really matter. Okay. I suppose uh, one will be slightly better than the other, but we're talking milliseconds. But if we're drawing hot water right to that right to that area, it's gonna everything's gonna benefit in that room. Yeah, Everything. minute thirty seconds. Everything. Minute thirty Sorry. seconds? Yeah. Okay. Okay, here we are at the furthest sink on this house. We're installing Grunfos hot water recirculation pump with bypass valve today. Um, so we're going to be installing this under the sink here. But this is this is how it works. So take a look. And you see, there's a, a cold water valve right here and a hot water valve right here. So this cold water fixture stop serves the cold water to the right hand side of the faucet there, and the hot water to the left hand side of the faucet. So we're going to be taking those off and detour that to this valve right here so now from the from the wall stop right there it's going to feed the bypass valve right here and then the hot water side is going to feed right here if you look in here it's just a straight communication the cold water will just go right through here and right up to the faucet so it doesn't it doesn't change any of that operation as far as cold water supply up to the faucet the magic is happening right here let me sit up a little bit so here's the here's how this works the pump is over at the hot water tank and it's always pushing when it's on you need to have an all on feature on it or on a timer but it's always putting just a little bit of push just a little bit of pump on this side um pushing it this way this is what's happening there's an alloy in here so in its most at 100 degrees it's at its most expanded form and it plunges and it puts a stop right here so the pump pushing cannot force the hot water into the cold water side and back into the wall. But when it's less than 100 degrees, like 90 degrees, that alloy will shrink a little bit. And since the hot water, since the hot water pumps always got just a little bit of pressure going on, then the hot water will be able to flow from the hot water side back into the cold water side and into the wall, drawing the hot water from the tank to this area. So it shrinks and allows water to bypass into the cold water side. It's drawing the hot water to this area. The hot water, the alloy touches that hot water, expands again, and closes it off. So the pump would just be pumping against nothing at that point in time. It won't be able to bypass into the cold water side. So that's how it works. Really easy. It's just not only that shrinks, allows water to go through, expands, closes it off. So really, really easy concept, and they actually work really good. I'm really happy with these. I've installed tons of them, and our customers are actually really happy. So it took one minute and 30 seconds um, before we install the bypass valve, and we'll see what it does uh, here in a little while. So if we hook that and get that there, we're going to need one long and the cold water is going to have to come up, loop to that one, and the hot water is going to have to come up, loop to that one. So we're going to not use the supplies from the kit. We're going to use our longer ones. We did not, we did not bring the right ones. We got one. So we're going to have to we'll go get a couple long 3 8 by half. Two long daddies. Just the seal was made by the uh, rubber washer that's in there. But we dope every time. Do not want to over tighten these. Do not over tighten them. That's good right there. So that's tight. That's that's pretty darn tight. Just a little tighter. 
with a six inch crescent with a six inch crescent if you had an eight inch or a ten inch you would barely be putting any any pressure pressure on the end here because the further you get out the more leverage you have okay so that's ready for those let's get these prepped too i think this is going to be about right there Shots, great shots, not good shots, great shots. <laughs> shot, 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 shot. Great shots. Okay, so we're going to put Oh, look at that. <laughs> wow, we have to tighten that up for a little bit. You see that? Mm -hmm. So this is the hot water recirculation system. They will always have hot water in their hot water piping up to this point right here. If that keeps doing its job. Those are usually pretty good. Let's go do it. goes to the tank nipple and you can see the directional flow there uh, for some pump is pumping water with constant pressure on the hot water side so the flex connector will go here if you can see it Thank you. 
the, get the water heating up. things I don't want to turn here when I'm doing this. I don't want the valve to turn and I don't want the flex connector to turn. I want to be kind of bouncing back and forth between both of them. So far so good on the flex connector. It's not turning away right yet. It's starting to turn a little bit. I'm okay with it. Okay, so before I plug this in, I'm going to go ahead and pop the P&T back down. Turn the water on. Turn the hot water tank. Vice versa, since it's easier for me to take off my shoes. Okay. If you turn the water meter on, I'll be on the walk up top just to make sure that everything is cool. Ten feet on this core. Awesome. Massive. that this pump is on right now so we'll just turn it off for a second so there's off so you can either have it in off mode timer mode or just 24 7 on and then the way you set it what time is it right it's 2 43 you see how this arrow stays stays right there so we're going to set the dial for 2 43 Take all these and turn these in the off position. Some of those are in the off position. Okay, so every one of these, every one of these is 15 minutes. So if I were to turn that on right there and put this in timer, the pump will kick on. Pump is on. Turn these off. Pump is off. I don't know if you can hear that or not. I can feel it. Okay, so uh, what times? 8 to 10 p.m. That's it? 8 a.m. to 10 p.m. Oh, 8 a.m. to 10 p.m. Okay, so 8 a.m. to 10 p.m. So that's right here. Here's 8 a.m. So we go all these. All the way to 10. Just 10, huh? Mm -hmm. Okay. Might be 10 15. Oh, we're up to temp. Sweet. Nice. Perfect timing. Perfect timing. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> Perfect timing. This is hot right now. We're in timer mode. We've got it set. It's 2.45 right now, so it'll be on until 10 p.m. And this, this outer diameter is just going to be rotating. Um, I can already feel, I can feel uh, water flow. So the water is flowing through that bypass valve as we speak. Cool. So by the time we go up there, um, it'll be hot water. The time okay, so just now as we were setting our timer, the hot water tank actually just turned off, so it got up to temp. Pretty excited about that. So here we go. Let's head upstairs. Oh, 
Shit, it's already hot. Show it. Already hot. <laughs> She's gonna love that. <laughs> Instant. Yep. Instant. Instant. She's gonna love that. It's instantly hot. That's shower ready. Took a that, minute. That's shower. Seconds. That's shower ready water right there. Shower ready water. I wish I had a thermometer to show you. That. That's that's hot. You may want to shower a little harder than that, but you're you're getting in it. You're mm -hmm. not wasting any water. You're getting in it. You may tweak it just a little hot, hotter. That is sweet. She did say she likes her hot showers. It'll get hotter, dude. At least you're not wasting in no more waste. Mm -hmm. There's no more turning this on and waiting a minute every single day. I'm getting in right now on that temperature. That's hot. That's hot. Work a little air out of the system, huh? Cool. She's gonna be really